Hello, beautiful people. It's Jennifer Forster dropping in. I wanted to have a quick chat with you today about the concept of alignment. It's a concept that's been coming up this week with my clients and it's a real buzzword. You, you know, we hear it all the time. Are you in alignment? Is it pulling you out of alignment? But I wanted to touch on what alignment is, for me at least, and what are the two critical components that drive it, that keep us on track, on path. Um, so I think about alignment as being, you know, it's, it's the tip of a triangle. And another word for alignment, you, you know, you might hear purpose, path, I'm on my path, I'm on my purpose, um, I'm on my journey. It, it's all alignment. And I'm sure you also know what it feels like to be in alignment because life will just be flowing. And I'm sure you know what it feels like when you're not in alignment because things seem to be really, uh, it's like you're stuck and it's, everything's a push and a struggle. But what is it that fuels our alignment? To me, it comes down to two things. So the two things are self-trust and self-responsibility. Now, conceptually, these two things sound pretty easy, but they actually both go against primal survival mechanisms of being human. So... This is why sometimes it can feel a little clunky to, to be in alignment and to have everything flow because we need to have these two components in place as well. So let's look at self-trust. Well, self-trust, that means trusting yourself, S-E-L-F, not yourself, but your self. Your self is that intuitive voice, that guiding energy that you know it, you feel it, you you know when you've trusted it and you also know when you've gone against it. It's that truth of you, the voice that sits in the truth of you. And when we live in full self-trust, we are guided solely by that deep innate knowing, that deep inner voice. Now, sometimes when that's guiding us, the pattern version of us will argue with that. Now, my daughter asked me the other day, she said, Mum, sometimes I don't know, I can't tell the difference. I don't know, um, you know, whether it's my head talking or my heart talking. And this is how I explained it to her. So when your head is talking and trying to make your decisions, you'll be in your figuring out mind. You'll be negotiating. You'll be looking for, if I do this, I'll get that. It's outcome driven. But when it's your heart talking, it doesn't have a reason and it doesn't speak in sentences. It's not looking for a result. It will just move you almost from an energy. It's, it's, it's like a, you know, you'll, you'll feel it. It'll be like, yes, no, this, not this. That's pretty much how you know the difference between which voice is communicating with you. And it's that, that inner voice. That's the voice that we need to cultivate this, this level of self-trust, this relationship of self-trust. Now, on the other side is self-responsibility. So what does that mean? It means being in full ownership of what it is that you are trusting in yourself. Because so often when we trust our own inner guidance, it may not be met with approval by people around us. You know, there'll be people who are living in fear that might be saying things to you like, oh, don't do that because this will happen. Or don't. So, so there's this argument that ensues. So when you are in full self-responsibility, you are prepared to be a stand for this guiding voice that you're living in self-trust of. Now, when you've got both of those things happening, and I want to just stress that 
you this doesn't come naturally to humans self-trust and self-responsibility don't come naturally why because both of them require you to be vulnerable and when you are vulnerable that goes against that primal mechanism of survival for humans we don't be vulnerable because when we're vulnerable we you know it's in our dna we think we're not safe so it does require some practice it does require um cultivating that relationship with your own self-trust and your own um, self-responsibility and when you do you will you'll be in full alignment you can't not be and you'll feel how that feels in flow yeah if this is resonating for anyone I'd love to hear your take on alignment I'd love to hear if you have had a situation where you you ignored the voice of your heart or where you trusted the voice of your heart um yeah we'd love to know about that all right beautiful people that's it for today just a quick message if you um i do have a couple of spots available if anyone wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one and really work on cultivating these two strengths that we have um, so that you can really live in alignment with the truth of you, uh, reach out, just drop me a message. All right, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.